I'm wiring us up to the rest of the world. There we go. Morning, everybody. Welcome to our brand new development seminar, Ask the Experts. Obviously, we've had about five months now of um, Dewpoint being live, so we, want to, we wanted an occasion for you now to come with all the questions that you have. Um, we, we, you know, we know what the kind of common ones are, and we tackle most of those in our Throwdown Thursdays and stuff, but you know, there's lots of ancillary stuff, so we thought, let's have a sit down all together and ask the questions and then have them recorded so that in future, if you go, geez, I, I remember that question, but I don't remember the answer, you can jump back onto YouTube or onto our website and go and play the video back and get the answers. So, what I wanted to say is context for this morning is that everything that we did and have continued to do in the design and development of Dewpoint has always been done with the perspective of how do we create recurring, passive, sustainable income for you, the wealth engineers. I think a lot of time people still think Dewpoint is about our products. It's not about our products. I've said to mo most of you before, um, but perhaps some of you haven't heard it, that we at Two Point are a division of Constantia. Constantia is a full-blown insurance company. It's got lots of underwriting managers. It's got lots of other direct marketing divisions where we could have sold these products through. We could have just designed them and sold them through there. I'm, I'm the co-founder co and shareholder of Primary and Direct. I could have sold the products through there. Dewpoint was not established as a mechanism for selling financial services or any other products. It was designed as a mechanism for us to be empowered to empower you to create income because we identified the problem that exists in South Africa right now and that is slowly starting to be ex exacerbated and that is that the average South African can no longer trust in their full-time employment. They just can't trust it anymore. It's not, it, it is no longer a guarantee. Who was talking to me this week? Two of his friends were, uh, it was Donnie actually, Donnie was saying to me, two of his friends this week were called to say, last month's paycheck was the last paycheck you're getting. Last month. I mean, before it used to be, okay, this month's the last paycheck you're going to get. It's got so bad now that companies are failing so fast that they're saying, I'm sorry, last month was the last paycheck you're going to get because there's nothing to pay you with this month. That, that's the reality, guys. That's the reality. And so when we, you know, when we do our presentation, we talk to this reality and we say, this is why we do Dewpoint and nobody believes us. They all think we're trying to move product. No, I, I can move product through all my other companies. Uh, that's not what Dewpoint's about. And so as a background context of all the questions today and all the answers we're going to give you, I want you to remember that everything we have done and designed has not been in consideration of the products. It's been in consideration of you being able to successfully create a lifelong income. That's what it is. So when you have that context, you'll see why we answer the questions the way we answer them this morning. Now, we received many, many questions um, during the week. And so we've jammed as many of them into the presentation as we can. And we've grouped them. So sometimes there's been two or three questions that were kind of the same. So we made one question. So I apologize if I don't answer one of your questions. We literally got tens and tens and tens, probably nearly 100 questions, and we don't have the time to go through all of them, but I have grouped as many of them, and I think you should be able to find your answer in the questions that we've, we've got this morning. And we have split it between three sections this morning. The first is obviously general dew point questions. The second will be banking. There were lots of questions around the banking, so we'll do banking. And then the third section is products. Okay, so that's the way we're going to do it. And we're going to do it between Rob and Jane and myself this morning, each of us kind of specializing in an area of the business, all right, and where I felt like that I wanted them to answer the question because they're better equipped, we're going to be handing over to them this morning and I'll tackle some of them as well. Okay, now again, if you do have more questions this morning that come up as a result of the answers, I'm going to encourage you anyway to send those questions to questions at dewpoint.net and we'll try and just respond directly to you, okay? I won't do it this morning, but during the course of the week, I'll respond to you. So if you hear something and it raises another question this morning, and that's for you guys watching live as well, just dump it into questions at dewpoint.net and we'll get back to you. We want you fully equipped, fully confident in what you're doing because we're going to turn Dewpoint into the biggest success story of South Africa. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do that here. This is not like we're starting it in a garage with virtual currency and a, no. This is solid, solid stuff here, and we're going to make ourselves a big success story. You are going to make Dewpoint a success story because you are Dewpoint. Okay, so let's get you properly equipped um, today. So let's start with the general Dewpoint questions. Everything that is Dewpoint, not products or banking. Okay, first question, 
When talking to people about Dew Point for the first time, what shouldn't or should I say? What can you say instead to create a wow impression? It's the how do I invite people question. It's the most common question. That's why it's question number one this morning. How do I invite people? What do I say? Okay. Now, I've got bad news. There isn't a single answer to this question. I'm going to give you the general one, but there isn't a single answer. What happens over the course of the next five years as you grow your channel is that you become an expert at people. That's what this business is about. It's about people. You have to, through the process of inviting people and failing and failing and failing in doing so, become an expert at identifying the person you're talking to. Everybody is different. They have a different set of circumstances. They have a different personality. They're coming from a different position. And therefore, your invitation to them changes with each set of circumstances and personalities. So there isn't a silver bullet for me to say, this is what you say. You say these three things, it works every single time. It doesn't. If you're talking to your boss, you cannot go, geez, you are struggling financially. Let me get you in here. <laughs> But when you are talking to your mate who you know is struggling financially, you can say, geez, you are struggling financially. I've got the solution for you. You know, when you talk to your boss, it's a conversation about, listen, you know how everyone is struggling financially. You've got loads of your own friends who are struggling financially. I've got a mechanism that you could use to help others. You could use it to help others. I know you don't need the money, but I know that you have a heart for people. And this is a mechanism you could use to exercise that heart for people in helping people. Don't you want to come along and take a look? You see, so it's a totally different approach. Now, here's the general answer, okay? The generally, you don't, in an invitation to come to the presentation, do not overload people with information. So don't sit down and do a two-hour conversation where you try and explain every part of the system, every one of the products, and your six months of experience at Dewpoint. That, that just frightens them away. The other thing is, don't start by handling objections they haven't raised. So we've had this before. I mean, it, it happens often. Uh, people are brand new. They pick up the phone and they go, before I start, I want to tell you that what I'm about to talk to you about is not a pyramid scheme. That's the first sentence. What do you think the rest of the conversation is going to sound like in the head of the person you're talking to? This is a pyramid scheme. This is a pyramid scheme. This is a so, don't start by handling objections you got. It's a simple system, the dew point system. If you're talking to your mate and he's saying to you, well, what I generally say is I say, find the context first. So you're, you're at an, a function, your friend's house, the, the pub, a bri, or whatever, at work, and the guy is telling you about his circumstances. That's often the situation you find yourself in. The, you're, you're socializing with him and he goes, geez, I've had such a tough, a tough year so far. Child's been very ill, missed a lot of school. I've had to miss a lot of work as a result. Really struggling, not sure if I'm going to get the promotion this year that I was now hoping for. That means I'm not going to be able to handle the um, increase on my bond that's coming up now. You know, now you've got context. Now you sit with a guy and you say, well, listen, I really want to help you. I can help you. Have you got some time for me? And that what you do then is you isolate the conversation around Dewpoint from the social setting. So you don't go in the social setting, right? Everybody in the living room, I have a business opportunity to discuss with you. Even with the individual, you don't say to the individual, oh, come aside away from this bri we're having, come stand with me over here. And then for the next hour, you bash business down his throat. Okay? You don't do that. You say, I can help you. I've got something. I'm doing it myself. It's already earning me. 800 Rand a month, 600 Rand a month. I'm already getting 500 Rand a month from it. Do you have some time this week when I can come and sit with you? Do you have some time? And then you know what you do? You bring out your Dew Point business card. Because that Dew Point business card means this is now a business transaction. People's psychology, as soon as they, you, they realize it's business, they go, oh, this is serious. Oh, this is quite serious. Okay, I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you half an hour for that. And you give them the business card and you say, 10 o'clock on Monday morning. Let's meet here. Let's meet at the coffee shop. Let's meet at my house. Let's meet at your house. I'm going to talk to you. Now you've got a set, focused time where you can sit down and say, listen, this is what the Dew Point system is. And then you give them a short 10-minute explanation on it, and you book them in for a presentation. Or if you're not where you can have a presentation in one of the regions, KZN, wherever, that's when you have your opportunity to duplicate me 
into that, that situation by playing one of the videos. And I mean, we know on YouTube and our website, we've got hundreds of videos that you could show. Tell all Tuesdays, throw down Thursdays, the 18 minute version. That's what you do. But the trick, the trick at the end is five years of practice, 10 years of practice. Eventually you'll know how to summarize dew point for each personality type in five minutes so that it wins every time. Okay, now what we're gonna do for you in the next couple of weeks is we're actually gonna put together a video of a whole bunch of different personalities and how you tackle them, all the different personalities. So in the next six or eight weeks, you'll find online on our website a nice short video with how to do it. But in the meantime, can I tell you, it's just practice. Practice, practice, practice. Numbers, it's all about the numbers at two point. Work the numbers. Fail, 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 succeed. Fail, 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 succeed. And the successes are what are gonna build your income for you. Okay, all right. So that's the question that comes up the most. That's why I spent the most amount of time on it. The second most common question, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand over to Rob to tackle. Good morning, everyone. So as Brendan said, this is probably one of the most common questions that we get that client service has to deal with, and it's a fairly simple solution. Um, so let's take a look at the website. We're all familiar with the login page, um, your wealth engineer number goes in there, the password goes in there, and there's a little link below the password field that says, forgot the password, right? So that's the key. We click on that, and what comes up is it asks you for your wealth engineer number. So you pop your wealth engineer number in there, and you hit the reset button, right? Okay, simple as that. Put the wealth engineer number in, hit the reset button, and what happens is you get a little dialog box that pops up at the top. It's a little green one. And this might be the issue for some people because on an iPad or an iPhone, you sometimes don't see the dialog box coming up. And what the dialog box says, an email has been sent to your email address. Please complete the password reset steps. Okay. So what we're going to be doing is moving this little dialog box into the center of the screen in future, just to make it a little more usable. Um, so obviously the next step here is to go to your email. So here's my Gmail account. This is the email that you'll then get from the system. To continue with the reset operation, please click on this link. Okay, so you click on the blue link there, and then what happens is it directs you back to the website. Now it's going to ask you for your new password, right? So you're going to put in whatever password you want to change it to. You need to confirm the password again, so you put it in again. Click on OK. And then the little dialog box is going to pop up again at the top that says your password has been reset. Please log in with your new password. Okay? So you're going to put the wealth engineer number in and your new password and boom, you're done. As simple as that. All right, guys. Straightforward. Brendan? Thanks. Clicker. All right. So now, I mean, we've, we have done that in a development seminar before, but we're doing it again now for it to be recorded for you if you forget again, but it does seem to be something people are struggling with the most. Now, if you can tell us why people are struggling with it, that would be great, then we'll fix it. But we think it might be because they're missing the message about the email, okay? In order for us to keep your personal details secure, we cannot just change it online because anybody could do it then. We need it to be you, so we email you and you change your details in there, okay? So, so the third question that I get a lot at presentations, and I'm glad it came up in the inbox, um, is this one. There's two parts to it, but let's read it. When I sell Dewpoint's products, does that not constitute an intermediary service as defined by the FaZe Act, and therefore require that I be a re registered representative of Constantia? All right. Very importantly, as I said, there's two parts to this question, even though it sounds like there's only one. Here is part number one. When I sell. There we go, there we go. Folks, you are not selling products at your point. You are not. We say it in every presentation, but at the end of every presentation, someone comes to me and says, but how do I sell the Access Wealth product? <laughs> and then when I say, no, but you're not selling products, they look completely confounded. Now, let me tell you why this is the case. This is the case because Dewpoint actually, for the first time, is the first network marketing direct selling company that you don't have to sell anything for. Up until this time, you've had to sell products. Always sell the products. That's what created your revenue for you. The Dewpoint system is designed in such a way that you don't have to do any selling. We do the selling for you through our online application form. 
You don't have to convince someone to join Dewpoint because of the great products. Our products are great. I think they're revolutionary products. But that is neither here nor there. What are we doing at Dewpoint? We're creating recurring, passive, lifelong income for individuals. That's what you're selling. That's what you're selling. And to sell the concept of an income earning opportunity does not require a license. It is not governed by any piece of legislation. It doesn't require qualification or experience. Anybody and everybody can do it. So you are never, now for the ladies particularly, because this is what happens, it happens all the time. You come to Dewpoint, you get super excited about what you see, you run home to your lawyer and accountant husbands, and they go, no, this is in breach of phase, because they got the two minute version of the very first time you've heard about Dewpoint, and they're getting it all wrong. It's very important for everyone to always remember you do not sell anything at Dewpoint. You are selling the opportunity, the Dewpoint system. That's what you're selling. So as a result, the second part of the question doesn't count anymore. Because you know you're not selling financial products. You don't give advice. You don't give recommendation. You don't do comparison. And therefore, you are not performing an intermediary service of any form. You are not even marketing. So people will say, yeah, but we're still marketing the products. No, you are not marketing the products. In your conversation with individuals about Dewpoint, the products never even arise. They never even arise. It could be wooden spoons or buckets of water that we are selling here. But it wouldn't matter because you're not talking about them. You're talking about the income opportunity that the Dewpoint system creates. Remember that, guys. It's absolutely critical. It should be a complete relief for you to know that you don't need to understand the products and you don't need to be selling them. It is wonderful freedom that n pretty much none of the other direct selling companies can offer you right now. All of them require you to sell the products and buy normally X amount of product yourself. You know, that's not the case here. It's not the case. You're free here. All right, so that's very important. Please remember that you are in no way even engaged with the um, Financial Advisory and Intermediary Services Act. At best, I would describe you guys as search engine optimization specialists, <laughs> which means that you bring people to my website. That's what you do. That's what you are, search engine optimization specialists. So if somebody wants to know what you are, that's what you are. <laughs> okay. All right. Next question up. Back to you, Rob. All righty. If I don't, if I do nothing with my Dewpoint channel for a few days, weeks, or months, or years, can I return to it and build it from that point onward? I'm confused by the question. I thought all the wealth engineers were building their channel all the time, every day. <laughs> but the few that don't, right? So from our point of view, if we have a wealth engineer that's joined and we've placed a product with them and they don't do anything in terms of building their channel, from our point of view, all that happens is after three months, we stop sending that person emails and SMSs. So that's all that happens from our side, right? So we decide no more communication to them. We'll communicate product information to them all the time. But from a, a channel building point of view, we stop communicating with you after three months. From your point of view, if you have someone in your channel that you've placed in your channel that stops doing the business, there's no effect on you either, right? They'll stop duplicating, right? But they'll still be paying their product and you'll still be earning from them um, with regards to whatever point they're on. If the person is above you, so if the person's your lead wealth engineer and they've stopped doing the business, what effect does that have on you? Well, then you've got someone that's not there perhaps encouraging you. Maybe it's time that you call them and say, listen, What's going on? Why aren't you doing the business anymore? Why don't you come down to one of the intro presentations? Get them fired up again, right? It's in your interest to get that person back in line. But from an effect point of view, there's no effect on your business, right? They'll still be paying their product. You'll still be earning out of them if they're in your channel. So that's the answer to that one. Okay, guys? Mm. Good. And it means, of course, that you never actually fall off as a wealth engineer. You're always in the system. So, I mean, I, Rob and I were talking about it. It's great. You earn a thousand rand. You earn up to a thousand rand. You stop for a couple of months. You come back three months later. You're still earning a thousand rand. You don't start at zero again. You start at a thousand and build from a thousand. And then you build to five thousand and stop. For a year, you're sick. You're in hospital or something like that. You come back after a year, you're at five thousand rand and you carry on from there. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It doesn't ever fall away. So, 
<coughs> that's the true power of what we're creating. When we say we're building an asset, that's what you're building, is that asset that just pays when you can't be building. All right, so exciting stuff there. All right, is Dewpoint available outside of South Africa or for, to foreign nationals? Well, the first part, is it available outside of South Africa? No, not yet. Maybe in the future. That actually depends completely on you. The faster and more successful we can build South Africa locally, the faster and sooner we'll get to start hopping the borders. It's very much part of our stage two plan, <clears throat> but it's completely contingent on your success. But at the, at the moment, no, it's not available anywhere outside of South Africa. It is only to be built in South Africa right now. Is it available for foreign nationals? Yes, it is. If a, if a foreign national has South African paperwork of any form that legitimizes them in South Africa, and they have a South African bank account that we can debit, you're in. No problem. Okay, so nice and easy. You can be from Zim or Uganda or wherever. If you've got South African paperwork, it lets you in, and a bank account here, you can build your channel here with us. Okay. Nice and easy. All right, Jane. Or you can even be from England. That's right. <laughs> right so then. how do I book for events? Okay, well, before we, I get into that, um, you joined Dewpoint for a reason, didn't you? Okay, so to change your future in some way. And, and um, uh, one of the things that uh, is really important in, in, in uh, growing your channel is actually attending events. And events are actually the backbone of your business. So uh, let's show you how you book. Um, well, first of all, you go to our website. And on the website, we've listed, in fact, not we, I have actually loaded all the events. And we actually have between five to six events every single week, including those for who are outside of Hauteng. Uh, we've got the live streams as well. Now, if you work it out, that's actually 100 opportunities to grow and duplicate your channel between now and the end of the year. Okay, so that's powerful. So what you do, you actually uh, select the, um, the event you want to attend. And then that will ask you to confirm that you want to attend that event. You then click through, and, and it goes to our booking system, where you'll start the registration process. Now, on this page, this is actually quite crucial for you. You can actually book between one to six tickets at a time. And I think the big point there is to make sure that you're booking for people who have confirmed. Okay, so don't just do it based on the ones that you're hoping to bring on Tuesday night. Do it for the people that have confirmed. Also, having a booking system actually makes this business more professional because when you're inviting someone to the office, you say, look, I'm going to book you a ticket. Oh, okay, this is serious. Yeah, so that's powerful part of it. So then you, you get to the registration page and it's going to ask you for your name and your email address. Once you complete the registration, what's going to happen is you're going to get an email, okay, and then that will confirm, for, confirm your booking for that date. But also, we're going to get your name added to the registration. And that's really, really important because, you know, the ladies out there, they check you in, and it makes it actually very simple if your name's already on the list. But probably more importantly, we allocate your XP from that list. Okay, so it's important to book for events. And I think this is actually the first skill that you need to learn and actually teach in your team. You don't want to be doing this for everybody in your business. You need to teach them to do the same because this business is actually all about duplication. Okay. Um, so there you go. And then I think, who's we ending this one? Me. Oh, family members. Me, there we I go. see the someone I recognize there. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, don't, uh, don't underestimate what James just said to you. There's a hundred opportunities between now and Christmas this year. Now, I, you know, we talk about the three plus two formula. We say bring two people a month. Well, what if you brought two people to each, each event? You, just you personally would be able to add 200 people to your channel this year in what's left of this year. Two people in an event, okay? If you just bring one, it's a hundred people just you've brought, let alone what your channel then brings. You can put a thousand people in your channel in the next six months. You can do that. We've given you the opportunity to do it. We don't go home anymore. We just live here for you. <laughs> That's what we've got for you. All right. Now, and uh, you, we've kind of ranked these in about the order of how often we receive these questions. So if you're going, oh, how to book, man, everybody knows how to book. No, that was like the third most common question. Okay. So. Yeah. This one is like fourth or fifth most common question. How come I can't stack my family in my channel? Okay. Now, there's a nice answer and an ugly answer. I'll give you both on this one. Stacking is where you 
sign up and you go, this is great, I'm going to put my wife in and then my son and then my daughter and then my, uh, my mother-in-law and then my father-in-law, they all live in my house, so th are they going to start paying rent? I'm going to put them in, they're all going to start paying rent, you know, anyhow. And then what happens is after granddad, who's number 10, that's when I'm going to build my channel. Everyone else is going to be underneath there. Now, let's just think about that. So the first legitimate person you put in pays his premium, and I have to now pay eight people for that one guy. For that one guy. They're all in the same household. None of them are building. There's really only dad building at the top. But now every time dad puts someone in, I pay out eight times. This is, in fact, called fraud. That's what it's called. I'm giving you the ugly answer right up front. It's called fraud. Because now you are defrauding me uh, of the system we've designed. You found a way to manipulate it. Now, this is not just viewpoint. It's now quite common. All the guys have realized this. Pretty much all of the direct selling and network marketing companies have started instituting this rule because they've been defrauded by clever individuals. Now, some of you might not have thought about it like that. You've gone, but I want to put my wife in. And my, you know, no. I understand. But in order to make this thing work properly and to prevent us and give us security, right now, we're not allowing stacking. Now, if family members don't live in the same house as you, Okay, so granny lives down the street and granddad lives here and my son has left the house, got his own business, lives in Durban. They can be part of your channel because now they are able to build their own channels for themselves. But it's where they're all in one household that we don't allow them to be stacked in. Okay, so that's important to remember. That's the ugly answer. Now here's the nice answer. The nice answer, which is probably the most important answer, is the fact that in my experience and the experience of the team over years and years and years of doing this, we have realized and seen it re happen repeatedly that teams work better than individuals. A husband and wife with two conflicting channels are never as successful as a husband and wife working together on one channel. Now, that might not, you might go, ah, he's just saying that. Just give it a bit of time and watch what happens. This is a business that when you get dead serious about it, takes up a bit of time, takes up some effort, especially if you're serious. You need a team player with you. And your wife and your son and your daughter can work with you. Family units building channels are incredibly powerful because there's now four people to take on the responsibilities, answering questions after the presentations. Okay, you take those two, get them signed up. You take that one there, making the, filling out the WhatsApp messages each day, you know, following up on the Facebook stuff. That's a team effort. It works really well. And so we don't allow family members to be stacked into channels. Okay, all right. That's the simple, simple answer on that. Rob, I'm asking the design guy to answer the maths question because no one is believing me, the maths guy, about the maths question. So Rob, take it away. Here we go. Alrighty. How can Dewpoint afford all the returns and the rewards that we're paying and giving away to our wealth engineers? iPhones, iPads, holidays, cars without Dewpoint stickers. How do we afford it? So we touch on this in the intro presentation. Right, so I'm going to bring up the slide. That's the slide from the intro presentation where we discuss the difference in the business model. And Brendan's already touched on it this morning. We could have easily embarked in a business like this, you know, moving product by using the traditional business model. They've done it before, and it's fairly commonly accepted. Right, so I'm going to go over it again. This is the traditional business model. So traditional business model says to us that to get product to market. We need to advertise and market the product, right? So traditional, especially insurance companies, and I had clients, you know, insurance companies as clients in my previous business, were well aware of how much they spend, the massive amount of budget that goes towards marketing and advertising product to get it to the consumer. And we don't do that yet. We say to you in the intro presentation, you will not see a Dewpoint logo outside of this building. We depend on our wealth engineers, word of mouth, regarding the business opportunity for you guys to bring people to the business and then we sell the product to those individuals, right? And what happens is instead of us spending billions on marketing and advertising, we're able to use that portion of the premium that we're charging our clients and we pay it to our wealth engineers in the form of returns and rewards, all right? And I didn't work on the mathematical model, the CAs did, so you can rest assured. There's not going to be any issues with that. <laughs> yeah. It's very important just to be comfortable with this. Beyond Dewpoint, look at the direct selling um, industry around the world. 
there wouldn't be a direct selling industry if it didn't work. It does work. The reality is not all of you are actually going to commit. Well, maybe this room, everyone in this room is going to commit to it. But there's, you know, we've already written 3,000 people into Dewpoint. The other 2,950 people that are not here this morning, they are not earning, but they're paying for your earnings. They're paying for your earnings. That's how network marketing works. The maths works. Be comfortable with it. Don't waste any time thinking about it. All right, why are there no paper applications, pay forms, and brochures? Okay, well, there's a very uh, simple kind of answer to this question. It sits comfortably with some people, and it doesn't sit comfortably with other people. Dewpoint is not designed for the mass market of South Africa. Not yet. That's not where we're starting Dewpoint. We're starting it with what we call the middle to upper income South Africans. It's people who have a full-time job or full-time um, business. You know, they're self-employed, but full-time. Um, and they've got a full-time job. They have access to readily, ready access to transport and have internet connections. We've done that on purpose. Those individuals, now remember why we're doing Dewpoint, those individuals are the most likely to pay regularly. And if they pay regularly, you earn regularly. You know, I've said it in many presentations before, the one thing I never want to hear about Dewpoint was, I used to earn. Do you remember? I used to earn. If I go to people who've been involved in just about every other single network, they say, oh yeah, that one, I used to earn 30,000 Rand a month there. And the reason, and I know this from my own personal experience, the reason why that's the case is that when you go to the people who are unemployed and, and not regular income earners, they can only afford to pay once or twice and then they stop paying. They can't handle it anymore. They can't carry the financial burden of it. And it means that you earn and earn and then you don't earn. And when we designed Dewpoint, we said, how do we create sustainable long-term recurring income for you? We have to tackle the right end of the market. Rolls-Royce doesn't come into South Africa and go, right, we're hitting the mass market. They don't. No one shuns them for it. No one goes, how can they do that? But I've had people say to me, Brenda, how can you do that? How can you say you're not for them? Well, BMW doesn't say they're for it. And Mercedes-Benz doesn't say that, right? And none of us are going, well, how can BMW say that? No, we are designing long-term successful income for you. And therefore, we have to be clever about which market we tackle. Now, if we add paper application forms, I know what's going to happen. Lots of you guys are going to buy boxes of them and run off to all your unemployed friends. Naturally, I've got a solution for you guys. I can get you out of your unemployed state. But you actually can't. You can't because they cannot pay. And if they cannot pay, you cannot earn. But you know what it's going to do? It's going to suck up all your time, all your energy. You're going to fill all those forms out. I'm going to hire an entire team of people who are going to data capture all of those forms. And next month, they're all going to lapse. And you're going to earn nothing from it. So yes, okay, I understand. For some of you, this is something you can't accept. I'm sorry, Rolls-Royce, you know, they also are sorry that they can't sell their 10 million Rand cars to everybody. Dewpoint cannot be sold to everybody. It is designed for your success. It is not designed for you to hit everybody. It's just not. Okay, so that, that's all I can say. And what it does do now is it's given you 100% convenience. If you've got an internet connection, it doesn't matter where you are, when you are, how you are, you're plugged into Dewpoint. You don't need to be in this office to sign them up. You don't have to go, oh, I've run out of application forms. You're never, ever going to run out of application forms. Not ever. You know, my dad's old trick. Back in the early 70s, he used to be an insurance broker running from house to house. And he had this awesome trick. He used to open his briefcase and he would go, whew, this is my last insurance policy. You're so lucky. The last one. He said, work like a charm every day. But he had a whole you know, suitcase full of applications in his boot. But the person was like, wow, whew, I just got the last one. Phew. You know, that's never going to happen to you because you've got online access and you've got an application form at your fingertips at any, you can be sitting on an airplane flying back from Durban or from Limpopo and you're talking to the person next to you and the person clicks with you and goes, I want to do this, this Dewpoint thing. You go, no problem. You whip out your iPad right there in the airplane. They've got free Wi-Fi in just about every airplane right now. You can fill them up out and get them into the Dewpoint system before you've even landed. You cannot do that with a paper application form. You just can't. All right. 
Why does Dewpoint send so many SMS? I'm not answering this question, Jane, this is yours. <laughs> you know why? He's so bad, right? He doesn't want to take the blame for this because it's actually me that sends all the SMSs. So there's your little secret. Look, when you start Dewpoint, you're doing something that's completely new and different, okay? And you joined Dewpoint because you had that specific reason. You know, you wanted to change something, some aspect in your, in your future. So in order to keep it top of mind, we send you regular communications. So we send you the daily SMSs so that you know when the events are happening, so that you can actually focus and plan your activity, not only for yourself, but also with your team. So it's important that you communicate. Communication is really key so that you're up to, up to date. But we start that process. We do it completely free of charge for you. So not only are you getting the SMSs and emails, but so is all your channel, which is fantastic. Um, but the, I think the, ma the main thing is that, is, is that you need to know what's going on in the business, OK? You need to be kept up to date. And if it irritates you, chances are you're probably not staying focused on get, uh, working towards your dreams. So we do get people, they get a bit irate, they send us some nice messages back, you know. Mm, I can't say the words that they say, but stop sending me these messages, you know. Um, but it's important that you keep in touch with, uh, with the business and what's actually going on. So, and like Rob said a little bit earlier, once you've passed three months, and if you haven't done anything, we stop sending you communication about the meetings and the events. Okay, so it stops irritating people. Okay, happy. Perfect. All right, Tim, can I quickly ask you something? Sounds like we're getting next door coming through the speakers. Do you hear it? See if you can kind of trim that down for us while I finish up here. Jane's absolutely right. We, for free, do all of your communication for you to your entire channel. Okay, wonderful, awesome. Okay, now of course I love the fact that people think that their their cell phone is like a toothbrush. No one else may use it unless they have been given my permission. Like it's ridiculous. I'm sending you an SMS. I look at it and I go delete. There, it's gone. Like that really didn't traumatize, traumatize my day. But boy, can we get the effing and blinding responses to the receipt of an SMS? I kind of feel like it's a bit childish, but that's just me um, on there. But if I send them a WhatsApp, that's okay. Just not an SMS. Yes, no, SMS, that's my toothbrush. No one may use it. Anyway, this is, of course, activating duplication. If you've watched that dev seminar, daily communication with your channel is how you activate duplication in your channel. Talk to them every day. We talk to you every day. You're not going to escape it. Rob, mm. how come our app's not working, man? Can the Dewpoint app be downloaded on all phones? I have been struggling with my Blackberry. You own a Blackberry? <laughs> <laughs> we won't name and shame. Okay, so we launched the mobile app a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we announced to everyone that it's available on Android's Google Play Store, as well as uh, the Apple iStore. And they're the minimum requirement versions on Android. Uh, we support version 4.1 and upwards, which is Jelly Bean, which has been around for about four years. So I would assume every Android uh, mobile device should be able to use it, unless you're really, really in the dark ages still with your, your handheld device. On the Apple iStore, we support version uh, 8.3 on iOS, and that's about a year old, so that's obviously a lot more, a lot newer. Uh, with regards to the BlackBerry devices, I think that's the only BlackBerry device that you see on the right there that is running Android, right? So it'll work on that particular BlackBerry device, but it's not going to work on the others. I think BlackBerry are going to start um, basing all their operating systems on Android going forward. Um, so that's kind of the short answer. If you're having any issues, send us an email with the device that you have and the version of the OS that's running on it, and we'll take a look at it, right? If you're one of the wealth engineers that was running the test application, you need to delete that version of the app and reinstall it from the App Store. Okay, guys, thanks. All right, good. All right, that one, it, it will work. It's brand new, so there's a few kinks. We'll straighten them out, but it should be working with everybody. All right, here's a long one, but it's all related, so I wanted to tackle it together. Why do wealth quests require those who sign up to pay 
in the same month. Sometimes people just don't have the funds to pay right away. Some people I sign up this month may only pay next month and may therefore only be assisting me for next month's wealth quest, but I don't know what next month's wealth quest is until next month. Okay, it, that's a very legitimate question. I actually applaud the person who sent it in. It's very good. Now, okay, we've got to look, um, look at the concept of the wealth quest. Remember, we've got the XP Rewards program. The XP Rewards program, you'll notice, has no time frames on it. You've got the rest of your life to achieve rank one to infinity. Okay, you, the, the, you've got all the time in the world to get it. Some people have said to me, the rank nine holiday, when is the cutoff on that? There's no cutoff on that. Uh, I mean, yes, we're going to go at some time, and anybody who's rank nine up to the day before will come with us. Afterwards, you'll have to wait for the next one, but there's no time frame in it. You work until you become a rank nine, then you go on the holiday. Okay. Now, the wealth quests, however, are the only part of the rewards program that are given a time frame. They are designed to accelerate your growth out the starting gates mainly. I mean, if you've already got an established channel, you can use them for fun. But I actually int intended them always to be used for the new guys. The new guys come in and I'm like, right, what do you need to do to get going? Get two qualified wealth engineers in. That opens up your first two points. You see, now you're earning 500 rand, 600 rand. You want that, and here's an iPad, which is a tool you can now use to build your channel even further. So we specifically do those the first day to the last day of every month so that it forces you to accelerate. If I were to just lay down all the wealth quests for the whole year and say, well, you know, kind of aim for the one you want and do it when you kind of want, that would be what the rewards program's doing. So I've already got that in place. Now what I want is something that you use on a monthly basis and everything's got to happen that month. You've got to sign the person up and they've got to pay in that month. Because otherwise, you won't have a qualified wealth engineer at the end of the month, which means you won't earn, which will mean that I haven't achieved what I wanted for you, which was for you to feel the financial freedom in your first 30 days with us. Okay, so the wealth quests are always specifically designed in that time frame, and I'm never going to tell you what next month is because I want you focused on this one. This is the one I want you focused on. Next month, I'll tell you what next month is, and that's all I want you focused on. All right, now this month, we're getting the TV. Anybody want? People who say, how big is the TV? It's big. Wider than my arms, okay? <laughs> Wider than my arms. It's bigger than what you... It's going to be plenty big, okay? It's a brand new free TV, okay? It's free. That's what it is. How big is the TV? It's free. That's how big it is, okay? And it's yours. It, are we working towards it. Not all at once, folks. Yeah, some of you are. All right, good. Okay, good. All right. Rob, why does the dashboard not work? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I think you're right. All righty. Why does the dashboard not show people as active for 30 days after they've paid? I.e., if they pay on the last day of July, they should show on August's dashboard. Okay? So that might be a little bit of a frustration for you guys because what happens on the dashboard is... Uh, like we said, the wealth engineers only seem active once they've paid their product, right? We work in calendar months here, right? The whole remuneration structure that we have works in calendar months, from the first to the last of the month. We are not going to change that. So everything gets reconciled for us. All the data that we look at gets reconciled around the 15th, 16th of the following month. So we're sitting in July at the moment. We're only going to reconcile July's data on the 15th of August, okay? And that's how we work. That's how the whole remuneration structure works. That's how we see what's happening in your channels works. So if someone pays at the end of the month, you're only going to see on the last day of that month whether they're active or not, right? That's just how the system works. They're not going to then suddenly get pushed into August. Their payment if it's getting made at the end of the month, will only reflect for that month. And then when we go into September, that's a new month. So it's going to work like that. We will look at making the dashboard as usable as possible. It's always going to change. We are always looking at aspects of this business that we can improve on. And the dashboard is one of them. So we will look at making the dashboard more usable so that the data that loads up at the beginning of the month reflects what's happening in your channel a little more kind of from a usability point of view, a, you know, a, a better way to look at the business so that you don't only see what business happens once people make payments at the end of the month. What you could do is tell them, change your payment, move it to the first. If you can get your whole channel to move their payments to the first, you'll see all that data populate immediately at the beginning of the month. All right. All right, thanks, Rob. 
All right, why can't I fill out the online application form on behalf of someone else? Okay, well, this is a, 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 a fraud and misrepresentation uh, protection mechanism. Remember, each one of you are contracting with us as independent individuals, okay? You have to, and through the process of filling out the application form online, tick off that you've read our terms and conditions, our terms of use, and that you've read and understood the Wealth Engineer's Code of Conduct. You've all done that, hey? Liars, all of you are liars. <laughs> I know, because they're like, how come I can't do this? Well, did you read the code? And, uh, no, yeah, guys. In the application form and on the website is the Wealth Engineer's Code of Conduct. It's in your My Account section as well. If you haven't read it, please read it. It's your contract with us, okay? Now, if you sit and start filling out people's private data into our application forms, ticking the, yes, I agree, and the, the investment mandate tick, I agree, and da 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 you are fraudulently misrepresenting this person's agreement with our contracts. You can't do that. Again, if you've got somebody who physically cannot fill out an application form, the question you should be asking yourself is, is this the right person to put in my channel? Yeah. I mean, that is a difficult question. It, it, it hangs on the emotions a bit. Ooh, is that politically correct? Oh, look, I, I appreciate that, but we're not here for the products. We're here to make income. We gotta get the right people in our teams to make the income. And so if you're sitting with somebody who says, look, I'm illiterate perhaps, and completely unable to do this, there's a question mark there. Maybe they are great. I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. But you need to understand that every individual must fill out their own application form. They are contracting with us. Okay, that's the answer why you can't do it involve someone else. Jane, why do I get XP sometimes and not other times? See, all the broken questions are for other people. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> anyway, first of all, who's actually watching all the videos? Great, that's a whole room. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay. Okay, good. Um, it depends. The answer to this question, it depends really where you're watching it. So if you're watching it on the login part of the website, your XP is automatically allocated to you. But only for the first time that you actually watch that video. Okay. But if you're watching it through YouTube, and that tends to happen when you're using the mobile devices, so it'll tend to take you to the YouTube channel directly, that won't happen. You won't get your automatic XP. But, however, what you can do, you can pop an email to client services at info at dewpoint.net, and they'll actually load it for you. So does that answer that question? You're happy? Mm -hmm. Click. There we go. Good. Look, you don't want to really be watching the video on your little iPhone. You know, like it's, you want to watch it on the screen. When you do that through the website, you get your XP. Unfortunately, we can't quite wire it up to YouTube. They don't have the API for us to do it there. So you've got to watch it through the website. Otherwise, you won't, you'll have to send it an email. Okay, is there any drawback if one does not follow the 3 plus 2 formula? Okay, quite a common question. But uh, like, what if I don't do the 3 plus 2 formula? No, the 3 plus 2 formula is just an example. It's just an example. It's just that I could show you plus minus what you could earn. You can do it any way you like. There's no drawback at all for you doing it at one person every six months. You don't, you don't get penalized. The system is exactly the same. What changes is how much you, how fast you earn. That's all that changes. It's a timing thing. If you do 100 plus 100 a month, you're going to earn a lot faster than the guy doing one person a year. That's all it is. It's just the timing of your income. The system is the system. This is why this isn't a pyramid scheme. It doesn't matter where you are in the structure. The system is exactly the same for you. It doesn't matter who's above you. It doesn't matter who's below you. The system is exactly the same for you. No drawback. You build at your own rate. That's what you have to do. Okay. All right. Banking questions. Section number two. What is the CICL D-U-A-E-A-W reference on my bank statement. I, I got Bridget on her knees yesterday begging me to talk about this. She says, the number of no authority to debit failed debit orders we get back from the banks is ridiculous. People have been here, they've seen it, they've signed up, they then get our debit order come off their account for 274 rand or 240 and they go to the bank and they stop it and they say, no, these people don't have authority to debit me. Okay, we're talking about maybe a hundred a month at the moment. And she's on her knees because she's got to call all of these people and say, what are you doing? No, well, I don't know who this is. Okay, well, she begged me to put this one in, all right? CICL, Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Any guesses what Jew is for? <laughs> yes, all right. AW, Access Wealth. It will be Wealth God. It'll be Wealth Points, okay? 
guys, you need to educate your new guys on the night you sign them up to expect this Constantia two point product. Okay, that's what's in it. I cannot control this. So if you're saying, Brendan, just change it to dew point, I ask the banks to do that. But you cannot control the references. They have the bank account registered under um, Constantia dew point, and they have the product registration, and they pick the reference, not me. Okay? So now, she, Bridget's begging us. She's saying, if they have been to a presentation and signed up, how can they say we don't have authority to debit? Educate your new people. As you sign them up, say, when the debit order comes off, this is what's going to appear on your account. Do not go into the bank and tell them you don't have um, authority to debit. Please, guys, we're talking like 100. Imagine that. I mean, there's 60 of you in the room today. It's like two each of your guys every month are currently saying we don't have authority to debit them. That is, I mean, that kills your channel. That kills your earnings. Get out there, educate your new guys, make sure that this is not happening. Can I deposit or EFT or pay in cash each month for my product? No. Why? Not because I want to be difficult, but because I'm trying to ensure a long-term, sustainable, recurring income for you. When you pay by cash, you pay one month, the next month you go, ah, I don't feel like it this month, I'd rather buy something else. Now, I'm brutal with that. I am brutal. If we're going to create sustainable income, we've got to be getting that payment every single month. And the most effective way is when I control the payment. If we make it EFT, you control the payment. You can stop it at any point in time. It's much harder to stop the debit order. We're not in this for products. We're not in this for our health. We're trying to create long-term sustainable income. We just are. And so we use the debit order system. It's the most effective way. And it is the only way that we will continue to use it. And when we do one day, because of your successes, start jumping the borders across Africa, okay, we will only go to regions where a debit order system exists. Because if you go, like, I mean, we've got, I, I know, I can't mention any names because we're being recorded, but directly involved with another company that went into Nigeria. Hundreds of millions lost and they pulled out because Nigeria didn't have at that time a working debit order system. It was the only reason it failed. Okay, debit order is the only way, guys. No, we can't do it any other way. Why am I unable to change the personal and banking details of someone else in my channel at Dewpoint, even if I call the client service team myself? Guys, because that is a fraud prevention mechanism. You cannot change someone else's personal details or bank account details. My client service team will not do it. They must talk to that individual. That in your details are changing. Are you aware of it? Your bank account details are changing. Imagine now somebody's earning 10,000 Rand a month and someone else sneaks in, finds their ID book or something, calls in and says, oh, I want to just change my bank account details to the following. And now we redirect that 10,000 Rand a month to them. Just because we listen to them on the phone. No, we will always insist on talking to the individual involved on any change of any personal detail. That is a protection mechanism. Okay. And yet people get so irate with the client service team around this. It's not acceptable, guys. It's not acceptable. We do, I mean, just as a, we do nothing at due point to hinder your growth. Nothing. Everything we do is for your success. Because if you fail, we fail. So every time you say, Brendan, because you've done that, I'm going to fail, know that that's not true. We have done that to ensure your success. Because we can't afford for you to fail. We simply cannot afford it. Right. Why, when I set my first debit order on the 31st of the current month, and the first of all months following, so my recurring one on the first, do you debit me on the 31st and then immediately again on the first? Okay. All right, it is because you said so, but look, fair enough. It's a fair enough question. <laughs> let me ask, let me ask you. Don, let me just explain to you again to remember exactly what Rob said a little bit earlier. We, use, we work in calendar months when we work out your remuneration. Stop thinking about the product because it's not involved in products at point. Think about your remuneration, your income that you generate. We work in calendar month units. If you pay on the 31st of July, which calendar month unit have you just paid for? July. July. Are you now paid for August? No. no. If we are going to, uh, you've then said, please debit me on the first going forward. If I then bill you on the 1st of September, have you paid for August? No. no. That is going to affect your earnings, isn't it? Yes. So your next one is the first. Just understand it. Explain it to new people. You're signing up. Oh, I see you've selected the last day of this month and the first going forward. That means they're going to bill you on Thursday and on Friday this, this month. You, you're aware of that. 
talk to your guys like that. Make them aware. Oh, no, no, don't do that. All right, well, then make it the 31st every month or make your first payment the 1st of August going forward. You know, you're going to have to have these conversations. You're going to have to educate new people as they come on board. But we work in calendar month units, and you need to understand that. All right. Okay, why can't I use someone else's bank account for my product payment? Oh, first of all, you're in breach of your code of conduct with us. Oh, but you haven't read that, so you didn't know. Um, <laughs> It is, you may not ever, if you look at the WealthQuest terms and conditions, so if you go to the website and you look at the WealthQuest, in there it says as well, you may not pay on behalf of someone else, okay? It leads to all sorts of fraudulent results, okay? No payment of premiums on behalf of uh, other people, and people that you put into your business must have their own bank account. Why? Because that's the right kind of person to put in. You're selling Rolls Royces to Rolls Royce owners, okay? If you try and sell a Rolls Royce to somebody who cannot afford to buy a Rolls Royce, it ends up as a mess, a disaster. Keep that in mind. They've got to have a debitable bank account. Everybody. No using other people's product accounts. All right, product questions. Right. Will product payments increase each year? Yes. Okay. Does everything else that you buy in this world increase every year? Yes. yes. All right. If so, by how much? At least 10%. That's inflation. Inflation is not 6%. Don't even fool yourself. It's probably closer to 20% per annum. And so it will depend on what's happening in the market and the economy at the time, how dew point is performing, how you're performing, your dew point, okay? And it'll be at least 10% increase in your product payment every year. Get ready for it. Will my insurance cover increase each year? Yes. Great news. Yes. If so, by how much? It depends. <laughs> It depends completely on the economy, the risk profile of our book, claims history. There also, changes in the environment that create changes in risk profiles and things like that. It depends. We're hoping to link it to the increase in the premium. So we're hoping that if we do a 10% increase, we can do a 10% increase on your insurance cover. But it depends. That's the answer. It depends. Will my returns increase each year? Yes, if you continue to work. No, if you're doing nothing, okay? The returns, this is a very important distinction. Because dew point's got nothing to do with products, the returns and the increase in payments are, have got nothing to do with each other. People keep saying, but if you increase my product, you must increase my returns. No, this is Constantia. This is you creating an income for yourself. They're completely unrelated. They do not talk to each other in any way, shape, or form, okay? The increase in returns is based on the performance of you as dew point. If you guys are doing an awesome job and we're making piles of money, we'll increase the returns because we're trying to equip you. We're trying to increase it. If you're doing a shocking job, I promise you the returns are not going to increase next year. Okay? The amount, the 55 Rand, the 27 Rand 50 is not going to change. Do not see it as linked to the products. The product prices will go up. Constantia, the insurance company, will say, this is the change in risk profile, this is inflationary increases, this is your new payment. That'll be it. Okay? It'll have nothing to do with your returns. We will try and monitor the returns, and over time, those two will adjust, but they're not guaranteed. All right, please explain the Wealth Points program and how to access the program partners. I've done that enough, I'm giving it to Rob. Explain the Wealth Points program. That's what we do in our dev seminars, right? So there's a slide of the dev seminar that's available on YouTube and under your, uh, in your dashboard. How to access the program partners. So. It is all explained in the dev seminar. We did a whole dev seminar on our products, right? We spent a whole section of the dev seminar on products on the Wealth Points program. The answer is sitting there. It's been sitting there for a couple of months already. And we've done the dev seminar twice. Brendan did it the first time. I did it the second time. So you can watch both and you should get a very good idea of how the Wealth Points program works. All right. So we're not going to go through the whole thing now. Go look at the YouTube video. That's right there for you. Yeah. This is the beauty of Dew Point. Everything we've ever done is recorded forever. You've got it. It's right there. If you need to find the answers, you'll find them there. Okay. How many rands worth of purchasing power do my wealth points give me? Jane, you're going to chat through this? It's 11 o'clock. You've got to do it in like one minute. Tim's waving the flag at me. <laughs> Come and tell us about... I think okay. you might need that. Great. I'm going to do this really, really quickly. Um, so one wealth point is worth one rand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you had 200 wealth points, that would give you the buying power of 2,000 rand. 200. Okay. 200. 
DSA 200. Okay, thank you for that. At least you're listening, okay. Um, can I pay more into my Wealth Points wallet than the standard uh, monthly 100 rand? Yes, you can. Just go onto your dashboard. You can actually, under the My Account, you can change the contribution every month that will be added to your debit order. This is great because if you want to accumulate some Wealth Points for a future purchase, you can do that on a monthly basis. So it's not all coming out of one, uh, one month's pay. Um, third question, why does it make sense to have the Wealth Points product if you can only use 100 Rand of the 249 for the discounted purchases? <sighs> okay, <laughs> um, you're going to be accumulating the, the 100 Rand every month. Uh, technically, it means that your product is costing you 149 and you've got immediate access to all the benefits of the club. So, and you've got all the um, suppliers, all the discounts that we've actually created for you. And I mean, it's like a no-brainer. To me, Wealth Points is a no-brainer. Use it, get the benefit of the, of the savings that we, we give you through there. Um, I mean, from, for myself, I've actually um, paid for a flight just recently to the UK. Brendan's letting me take a couple of weeks off. Hello, thank you. Um, and um, I've, I've used the flight center, used my points for that. Also, I've saved just, uh, just about 3,000 Rand just on eating out, having massages, having a bit of fun through the Entertainer app. So powerful. You've got to use this product. It's powerful. Can I move click? OK. Then the next question is, why must I wait six months for my Entertainer key? Well, if you wait six months, it shows that you're serious. If you're paying for six months of your Wealth Points product, you're serious about this, okay? And we're giving you something of immense value, and we're giving you that every year. So every year, you're a Wealth Points partner, and you're paying your monthly premiums, then you're going to get the access to the ent entertainer key. There's over a million rands worth of buy one, get one free savings, which is awesome. But if you think about it on the other side, as a channel builder, what do you want? You want quality business in your channel. Because if people pay their product, what happens? You get paid. You get paid uh, re returns every month. So if someone pays for six consecutive months, chances are they're going to stay in the channel for a long time. OK. Mm -hmm. This looks like Brendan. That's the most important reason why you don't get your key in the first month, is because we want you to build sustainable income. Everything we've done is for that. And that key is the carrot that gets people into the long term. Is the Access Wealth tax-free investment account a savings account? Okay, Very important question. No, it's not. It is not a savings account. A savings account is what you get at the bank. Is what you get at the bank. You go in, they open you an account. You put money in and they give you a guaranteed return. 3%, 4%, 5% per annum, Okay, depending on how much you put in. That's a bank account. That's a savings account. Those, I actually read a fantastic article this week about those, have been the lowest performing return items people, investors, can put their money in for the last 30, 40 years. Okay? The winner, every time, if you look over the long term period, 20, 30, 50 years, has always been equities. Now, equities is where you invest in the shares of another company. Now, you do that through the JSE. There, you can invest into an entire portfolio of shares. And so, I basically had this in my head. I knew this already, but there was this wonderful article in the Financial Mail about it this month, um, this week that I read, confirming this again. So we chose an investment account. Now, an investment account is an account where um, the asset managers, Capricorn fund managers, take your money and they invest it into the shares of lots of different companies. And as the value of those shares rise, you share in that increased value. And where they pay dividends, those dividends are returned into your investment account. And it means that there's more money to invest in further shares. And so what, you've, what happens is what we describe on our website in that little video about the access wealth, you get the compounding effect of growth. So you're putting 100 Rand in, but then the shares de de uh, declare a 10% dividend, and they put 10 Rand in for you. But in the meantime, the value of your shares have gone up by 10 Rand. So now you've got 110 Rand, and then 10 Rand's worth of dividends going. You've got 120 Rand. They take that extra 10 Rand, and they invest that now into more shares. A year later, there's another 10% increase in the value of the shares. You're up to 140, and now they do 14 Rand's worth of dividends comes in. Now you've got 154. And as you spend time, this really starts compounding for you. It is a far more powerful mechanism than a savings account, but it comes with risk. High gain, high risk always. The risk is that we have a 2008 financial crisis and all the shares lose 25% of their value. 
the value of your investment drops by 25% in that year. But what's happened since 2008? It's recovered and gone ahead again. So what we encourage you to do is not to just be drawing your money in and out the whole time of this account. We're creating for you an asset that you will use in your retirement or for emergencies. So that money that's going in every month, you don't touch. And if you look at it over 20 years with all the ups and downs, you will see it outperforms everything else. It has for the last 50 years anyway. So now, that's an important thing. People keep coming to me because then the next question is, well, what's the interest rate on my savings account? No, there isn't an interest rate on your savings account. It all depends on market performance. How have the shares in the market been performing? So what is the name of the unit trust fund uh, linked to the access wealth product? What is the risk profile? What was the average annual return over the last five to 10 years of this investment account? Excellent questions. If you go to your My Account section, you will see down here under your Access Wealth Investment section, Minimum Disclosure Document. You can go, just go to My Account section when you log in. View web page. Boom, this comes up. Sunlum Select. You know, I'm sorry it's a bit low, but you'll see it in the video later. Sunlum Select Flexible Equity Fund. That's the name of the fund. It's in your Access Wealth Plan document. So if you forget, you'll find it in there. Select that one. Just click Download PDF. Boom. Every single thing you need to know about that investment is there. Okay. The what shares it's done in. And I love this. This I pulled. We pulled this week for you guys because this will be updated every quarter. All right. So every three months, Sunlam will update this document. Look at how this fund has performed so far. 7.95% um, annualized return so far. Any of you getting 7.95% interest on your savings account? No? That's what's happened so far this year. Okay? 7.95%. Here's the shares that they're in, the, the, a list of their top performing shares. NASPERS shares they're invested in. 12% return so far on those shares so far this year. This is what you're investing in. On the page below, it gives you the split between equities, cash, bonds, international property that, that they're investing in. And also on the second page, it shows you that Capricorn fund managers are um, investing in, do, are doing the asset management for you. And I told you at, uh, during the week and at our dev seminar that if you as an individual were to approach Capricorn um, uh, to, to manage your investments, your own cash for you, they would require a minimum of 100 million rand from you. You have that level of asset manager looking after your investment at your point for 100 rand a month. Our products are terrible. <laughs> why, why don't we have all the products the others have? <laughs> See how I get annoyed. All right, now folks, I just want to go back to you here very quickly. In here as well, you can see now your investment balance, okay? As it is from, uh, let's just see, I've got the statement button in now. I know the statement button's coming in too, very soon. But on here, there's two things in your accounts that you're going to be able to see. What your balance currently is, your personal balance currently is with, with Sunlum. It'll be on your dashboard. There it is, blind. Current balance, 302.95. Okay, see that? That is your current balance that's with them. And the 2.95 is either the gain in the share price, the dividends that have been declared, et cetera, et cetera. Over time, you'll watch it. And it'll go up and down. So you, some days you'll come in there and it'll say 276 Rand. What happened to my money? The next day is 310 Rand 15. As the markets move, it'll move. Okay? That's what investments are about. The important thing to note is that the, the, applic the uh, smartphone app is not recording the balance yet. So if it says naught, don't panic. It's not naught. Just look on the website. That balance has been pulled through in the next week. And then what will come is we're going to give you a statement button down here. There it is. There it is. It's there. Great. Investment. I knew they'd do it. See here you've got your channel return statements. Those have been there for a while now. Do you remember that? So you can see how much you earn each month by month. You can click in there. It gives you a statement of your earnings. Now, investments, you can now pull a detailed investment statement. Did any of you have this, the old Baltra Nights? No. Online, you could just pull a statement. No, okay. So, yeah, all right. June, May, da, da, you can see it in there. Detailed, opening, what went in, movement of share prices, dividends, fees, dunk, 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 dunk. Okay. One thing to note, remember our negotiated fee on this investment is 1.8% per annum, okay? So on the MDD, they've got their generic fee structure, just ignore it, okay? It's going to be all sorts of, I can't even read it, I don't know, no, it's 1.8, okay? So don't panic about the rest, that's the only thing that doesn't apply to you. All right, it's all online, it's all happening, everything you can do. In the event of your death, do benefits of Access Wealth and Wealth God get paid into your tax-free investment account? If so, does this then form part of your estate assets and are they therefore bound to the process of winding up your estate before the beneficiaries can access these funds? If not, is there a manner in which they can access these funds immediately? Unfortunately not. 
It's just the way it works, the law in South Africa works. I put the money into the bank account that we have recorded on the system. That's it. It goes into the estate and the estate manages it from that perspective. There is no other way we can do it without creating piles of administration and fees that you don't want. So unfortunately, when you die, I will say, here's the million rand, it goes into that bank account. And then your estate will wind up and it'll go from there. That's all we can do. Do I need to have my FICA and tax numbers before I can complete the application form for the Access Wealth Plan? What are the consequences of not having sent my FICA and tax numbers to Dewpoint? No, you don't. It's very important. We're finding a lot of people are stopping in the application form at the FICA doc section, going, well, I don't have my FICA doc, so I can't complete the form. No, you can. You don't need to give me your FICA forms up front or your tax number up front. So when you're signing up newbies, don't get them to stop there. Get them to go right through the application form. The consequence of not giving us your FICA docs are that we cannot withdraw your funds out of the investment. So if you've got an investment balance, we need your FICA docs in order to withdraw the money and hand it over. That is a legal requirement. It's not a due point requirement. Okay? Uh, GFA, the guys who handle the administration of the investment, will not give us the money. They want the FICA docs. What is a FICA doc? It's an ID and a proof of residence. That's it. It's not going to kill you. Scan it in, send it to us, or bring it to the counter here at reception. We'll scan it in for you. It does not affect your due point system returns and rewards in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't affect the debit order running. That's all going to happen. And we'll take the 100 Rand each month and invest it for you. Okay? Send in your FICA docs when you need to withdraw. All right. Tax number. Do you need it? No, you don't need it up front. Why will you need it? There is a chance. It is uncertain at the moment because it's draft regulation on tax-free uh, uh, tax investments. Whether SARS will pick on you if you don't supply your tax number. That's it. Now, when I say pick on you, they might say you didn't send in your tax number. I don't like that. I'm going to tax the gains you've made on your investment at 40%. So to avoid that, give me your tax number. <laughs> that's it. Just that's the only reason. I don't need it. It's not going to affect your returns and rewards. It's not going to affect your channel building. It's not going to affect the debit order. It may affect how much tax you have to pay. That's it. Give us your tax number. We put it in. It's done. All right. Folks, we're there. We made it. As I said, lots of questions. You may have more. Send them. We'll answer them directly or ask me afterwards and the team afterwards. Guys, these are the most powerful tools. I am not selling merchandise at due point. Believe you me, I could sell millions of these and it would not be covering costs. Okay? We have these because they're effective tools for you as wealth engineers. They get your brand as a dew point wealth engineer out into the market. They show how professional you are, that this is not a fly-by-night organization. You've got professional business cards. Guys, before you leave today, stop at the counter, look in the cupboard, select what you want. These have got the presentations on, a tell-all Tuesday, the 18-minute one, and one else. I can't remember. There's three presentations that are on there. Throw down Thursdays on that disc for you. You get it. Now you're everywhere you go. If you don't have an internet connection, plug it into a TV, plug it into a laptop, and bang, you're playing presentations. Powerful tool. If you are earning, even if it's 165 Rand, you should have a badge. That dew point pin get, separates you from the crowd. You walk into the room, people know you're earning. You're earning. That gives you power and presence. Buy the pin if you're earning, okay? Um, and then, of course, the power pack. I've always got guys with their multi-plugs plugged in the side walls here, plugging their cell phones in, trying to get power. Guys, get a power pack. Anywhere you are, you just plug your phone in. It charges your phone back up and it charges your um, iPad back up. It means you're never without the tools iPad covers, ladies' handbags that can take um, laptops inside them as well, Dewpoint branded, and notebooks, very, very effective. And of course, folks, the business cards. Man, I can cry tears over this. This is a professional organization. You are a professional wealth engineer. You are dead serious about creating a fortune, not putting food on the table. You're really putting food on the table. We are building fortunes because we are Rolls-Royce customers here. Okay? We are building fortunes. You need the business cards. Line up at the counter afterwards, fill out the application forms, and get for yourself a set of 500 business cards that would cost you five and a half thousand rand if you bought them yourself. Any of you spent five and a half thousand rand business cards? That's the quality of the business cards you get from us for 625 rand. It's one rand a card is the cost it costs you. But for what we've negotiated, it would have been 10 rand a card. Okay, so please, guys, get your cards, get professional about what you're doing. Wanted to remind you, Dewpoint app is now available. Download it. Your first login, you get 250 XP. It's a great one. Super powerful, much faster than the website. Does just about everything at your fingertips. Fantastic thing. WealthQuest, guys, we've spoken about it. You've got half a month left. Let's get serious. What do you need? 
two qualified wealth engineers, and 100% PPQ. What's 100% PPQ? It means that everybody on your first and second point paid their product. Now, if they fail to make their, product, their payment in the past, they're gone. We've already lapsed them out of the system. You don't have to worry, oh, I had all these guys that failed their payment last month. It's fine, they're gone. They're not going to affect your BPQ this month. Okay, so make sure that what we are raising debit orders for this month on your first and second point is paid for this month. Okay, super important. Do we want a TV? This is such a great presentation tool. All of a sudden, your lounge is a presentation room. Make it rain, guys. Make it rain. Wednesday night, movie night. Launched just two weeks ago. We've had two great ones. Last week was super. This last week was absolutely super. Get you free popcorn, free Coke. We get out the best video, and then we plug in a secret special presentation video afterwards. Every week it's different. Come, bring your guys. Very powerful night to come on um, and worth coming. 6.30 every Wednesday night. And then, folks, Saturday the 30th of July, plugging into the Dewpoint system. All your new people. 500 of them last month. It's 500 new people. We should not be able to fill, we should not be able to get them in here. This is, you well, may well have already been to two plugging into the Dewpoint systems. It's fine. You can go sit outside and have a cup of tea or coffee. But your, we should have rows of your new guys in here who have not yet properly plugged into the Dewpoint system. Get them here. Fill the room. Live streamers where you are, fill your lounges and presentation rooms with your new guys. Get them plugged in to the Dewpoint system. 30th of July, 10 o'clock in the morning, Saturday. Okay, folks, that's it. Thank you very much. If you've got more questions, come and chat to us outside or questions at dewpoint.net. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.